Uh, Shalom, Apostle Hawk coming back at you with the truth, giving all praise to you, how about Shemel Shai? Okay, this is an article, um, this was uh, put out by the Washington Post, and the headline is, Trump now wants to militarize the police at exactly the wrong time, and I'll put the um, a site in the description box. It says, uh, today Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced that the Trump administration has reversed an Obama-era policy that banned the sale of certain types of surplus military equipment from the federal government to local police departments. So he's uh, militarizing your local police. And there's a reason behind why that's being he's doing that. by reversing the Obama, Obama administration policy. Uh, President Trump is allowing local law enforcement agencies to acquire from the U.S. government items such as tanks, weaponized vehicles, high caliber fire, firearms and ammunition, grenade launches, bayonets and camouflage uniforms uh, the, the president of the united states wants to arm the police like they're fighting a war now if they're fighting a war who is the enemy the average citizen not like they are protecting communities that would be worrisome enough on any given day but trump's timing reveals his broader vision of law and order to be even more brutal and brazen in its intentions. The new announcement comes just after Trump's Friday pardon of former Ma Ma Maricopa excuse me, County, Arizona Sheriff Joe uh, Arpaio and the event in Charlotte Charlottesville two weeks ago so we already know what side Trump is going to take in this context it can be read as an alarming signal that Trump is amping up more than just his rhetoric he has given law enforcement explicit permission to treat policing like a war in which the president of the United States has defined enemies and allies And you can continue to read the article. Anyway, I'm going to close with a scripture or two. And I'm going to say this, man. If you can't see that we're at the end of this man's system, then something's wrong with you. Um, what they're going to do, and I say this, I've been saying this for the longest. They're going to, they're going to administer that microchip which is the mark of the beast and any camp that's teaching contrary to that the most high is going to deal with them and judge them all right whether it be iuic iucpk or any group gocc you know certain groups out there that teach it but they don't really push it they know that the mark of the beast is the chip but they don't really push it great millstone i mean if you go to any of the great millstone uh Pay, uh, YouTube videos the, the brothers that are really pushing the word not you slackers in Great Millstone I'm talking about you them, them brothers that are on fire you're going to see you're going to see countless countless videos of the mark of the beast as a microchip now like I said anybody that's teaching uh, otherwise it's obvious man it's as plain as the nose on your face that the mark of the beast is the microchip, but because you've been teaching um, something different, you know your pride is a your pride is make making it as to you not coming out and admitting admitting to the truth. Okay. Okay. It says here, uh, this is Ephesians five verse eleven, and have no fellowship with the un unfruitful works of darkness what's the unfruitful works of dark darkness anything that's 
any any group or any person that's teaching something contrary to what you're teaching. Let's say you have groups out there that teach that, that you're the Israelites, but they teach that uh, Edomites are going to make it in the kingdom. We're not to deal with them. All right, that's what the scriptures say. All right, it says a uh, 12 verse. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. 13. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doeth make manifest is light. Light. So we're supposed to make all these things manifest. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepeth. So you got a lot of guys that woke up to the fact that they're Israelites, but they don't know all the scriptures. So they're still in the sleep. And arrive from the dead. And Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. So a lot of these groups out here and these individuals, the Most High is not going to give them the light. They're going, the Most High is going to give them part of the light. 15 verse. See then that thou ye... That See then that ye walk circumspectly, meaning looking all around, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time. You got to know what time you're in because the days are evil. 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of, of Yahweh by Shem Shai is. So you got to know what time you're in. Got another scripture that just came to mind. This is uh, Romans 13. Thirteen and eleven. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. Let us, 13 verse, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and in drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Alright, last scripture. This is uh, 2 Ezra 16, verse 68 on down. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them. So you can't consent unto this man. If they give, if they give you something that's contrary to the scriptures, you you gotta you gotta fight against it. And that main thing is um that that microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Because once you take that, you, know, you gotta lie to these simple as. Israelites out there that's talking about, yeah, but you know what, if I take it out, if I put it in, I can also take it out at the last moment. That's a man that's weak in the faith, man. You got guys teaching that uh, you can get the mark, but as long as you're teaching the scriptures, you know, you're going to be all right. No, nah, that's, that's not true. When you go to Revelation 14, verse 9 on down, when you go to Revelation 15, verse 2, Revelation 16, Revelation 20, verse 4, Six, uh, 69 verse again and they that consent unto them shall be in, be in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot 70th verse for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai 71 they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear uh, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai so this goes into uh, that militarizing of the police. Going to have tanks in the streets, you know, police officers with uh, rocket launchers. Uh, 
you know, um, all 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 kind of uh, weapons that they use in a military theater. Uh, uh, 40, uh, 72 for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses then shall they be known who are my chosen or who are the prophets of the most high who are the people of Israel starting with the um, the prophets the elect of the most high the teachers the men that the most high set up to be teachers True teachers. 73rd verse again. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So you got a lot of different Israelite groups out there. You got us, you got Great Millstone, GMS, you got IUIC, you got ISUPK, you got GOCC, you got LOI, you got AOC. You know, there's so many groups out there. So there's going to be a point where you're going to find out who are the true men of the Most High. It says, uh, and there's many more I can mention. I just mentioned those because they came to mind. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, say of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh behold, the days of trouble are at hand. So we're in the time of the days of trouble. But I will deliver you from the same. So look for your deliverance. Trust in the Most High. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. It says, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, commandments are, are the laws, precepts are the writings, the prophecies of the scriptures, the New Te which, can, which includes the New Testament, uh, saith the Most High, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift, them, lift up themselves. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities like as a field is covered over with bushes and the paths thereof are covered with thorns that no man may travel through it is left undressed and is cast into the fire what fire that nuclear fire to be consumed therewith because uh, this destruction is for Esau but the Most High is going to destroy his people as, as well. This is uh, Amos 9. Okay, I'll start at... Uh, I'll start at 8, Amos 9, verse 8. Behold, the, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, upon the sinful kingdom. That sinful kingdom is talking about the children of Israel. They were destroyed. Now the sinful kingdom, now is Esau. Because when you go to Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, and you read that from the top on down, it tells you that all those curses that we um, experience is going to fall on our enemies now. But you're going to have a certain number of our people that's going to die the death, the death of Esau. They're going to be sacrificed right along with Esau, all right? It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, uh, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith uh, Yahweh. Nine verse, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all the nations. All nations. So that right, that's separation right there. The Most High is not dealing with the other nations. If you have another nation outside of Israel, you're not. You have no chance of being delivered because you're not an Israelite. And this scripture proves it. Amos nine verse nine: For lo, I will command and I will sift the, sift the house of Israel among all nations, because we're scattered among all nations and we look like every nation on the planet Earth, like as corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And it's going to start with the elect. It says, uh, 10 verse, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Six. 
so with that I'm gonna say uh, Shalom and um, this is the time you know if you if the most high open up your eyes you know this is the time for you to be on fire this is not we're not in the time to be in loop of being lukewarm this is the time for you to be on fire any opportunity you have to push this word you're supposed to push this word anyway with that I'm going to